Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So we meet again uh, for PST 104, which for chapter 4, we cover on LaTeX preservation, uh, preservative and preservation. Last uh, chapter, we did cover on LaTeX stability and conservation. So here, to promote stability on field LaTeX, we have this preservative and the way to preserve the latex. So the subject for this chapter 4, we have a short term preservation which is the anticoagulum and some um, commonly used composite preservative system and lastly I will state some condition of an ideal preservative. So let's take a look the lesson outcome for this chapter, the first one to discuss the function of latex preservative, to explain all type of NR latex preservative system, to differentiate between conventional preservative and composite preservative system. Uh, usually uh, in industry, they start to use the composite preservative system because of uh, the demands of the end user or end uh, product manufacturers. So uh, later on, we will go through the, what types of composite preservative system. And finally, to list the requirement of an ideal natural rubber latex preservative. So uh, short term preservative, uh, preservative is also known as a anticoagulant. The function of short term preservative, basically there is a two. First one, to reduce the development of acid, either suppressing the growth of bacteria or to shield it or sequester metal ions released by B serum. As we know, the short-term preservative commonly called the anticoagulant designed to maintain the latex stability for a few hours only from tapping to factory reception. So after we tap, in order to uh, we retain uh, that tap, latex, the collected latex um, be, until it reach the uh, factory so we need to use the short term preservative system so we don't want to promote any coagulation during the transportation or during the storage before it reach the factory so uh, this is the main two functions of the preservative short term preservative system so we go through what types of anticoagulant that commonly use. Okay, uh, basically there is three types of anticoagulant that we use: the ammonia, sodium sulfate, and formalin. Okay, and each of these we will go through on the uh, mode of action, uh, the usage of this type of anticoagulant, and finally the advantage and disadvantage of this anticoagulant itself. So we go through the first one is ammonia. Ammonia chemical structure is NH3, which is good the bacteria suppression. Ammonia interact with water will produce the uh, sodium hydroxide with the additional of ammonium sulfates and water. The OH itself increases the alkalinity to about nine to ten pH, hence inhibit the growth of bacteria by creating the unfavorable condition. As we know, the favorable uh, naturally, the pH of uh, latex is around 6 uh, pH, but by additional of ammonia, it will increase the pH up to 9 to 10. By doing so, it will promote uh, unfavorable uh, condition for bacteria growth. Okay. The second one, acid that may have already formed are also neutralized because during the uh, tapping process, before you collecting the latex, the process of uh, bacteria uh, attack already started at, and it will increase, uh, sorry, it will reduce the pH of the latex itself. So from 6, it might turn out to be 5, 4, etc. So by addition, addition of ammonia, as an anticoagulant, it will promote, uh, it will neutralize the acid that been uh, formed during the uh, collection process. <coughs> 
And then ammonia also act as a metal suppression. As I mentioned earlier, there's two functions of the uh, anticoagulant. The first one is a bactericide, neutralize the uh, acid, and second one the metal suppression. In ammonia system, it having both. Um, Properties. Okay, the notorious metal ion contaminant in fill attack, which causes conservation in magnesium. Phosphate ion, which also naturally occur in the serum phase, provide a convenient method for sequesterization of the complex magnesium ammonium phosphate in the presence of ammonia. Okay, it precipitates out as a sludge and easily removed by settling on reception. So magnesium uh, add with the ammonia, add with the phosphate outside, okay, produce the magnesium ammonium phosphate. This uh, will form as a sludge and will settle down on the bottoms of your latex and can be easily removed. Okay. Uh, okay. The usage of ammonia. Okay, commercially there is a two forms of ammonia that commonly used in uh, latex collection and receptions. Okay, the first one is uh, in, uh, in form of gases, ammonia gas. But you need to uh, bear in mind care must be taken to ensure the bubble gas do not issue from surface of the solutions. Okay, what does it mean by this uh, statement? Okay, as we know, a gas easily uh, released in um, environment. So when you bubble your latex, you make sure there is no air bubble uh, appear on the surface of your latex. Okay, why? Because if you do so, this ammonia gas will uh, fill the environment and will cause you unable to breathe. Okay, dia macam bila awak Terlepas gas tu dekat environment, awak tak boleh nak bernafas, then more likely you akan collapse. Okay, so kita nak ada accident. That's the, 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 the action you need to do. So what the best way, you need to bubble your latex slowly with the ammonia gas. Okay, make sure there is no release bubble on the surface of the latex. Uh, so slowly until it uh, dissolve, okay, in your solution. Okay. The second one, uh, th this one is more uh, common uh, usage of ammonia, which is in equal solution. Okay, dalam bentuk cecair lah. Okay, the stock solution once prepared are tightly uh, stopped in the container to prevent evaporation of ammonia. Okay, although although you're using the equal solution of ammonia, which is thirty percent, you bear in mind you need to uh, tightly seal your container or bottle so that it won't evaporate. Okay, apa jadi kalau dia evaporate sama juga act as a gasoline dia tadi. Dia akan fill the environment with the ammonia. More likely the handler will collapse uh, with, when inhale uh, the ammonia gas. Kenapa dia boleh collapse? Actually, during the process, uh, you will uh, eliminate all the oxygen so you can breathe and you will collapse. And then ammonia preservative, <coughs> the advantage and disadvantage. So we go through the first one, the advantage. Ammonia is the preferred general anticoagulant and is suitable in abnormal circum, uh, circumference, uh, high intensity tapping, ran out, etc. Okay, uh, I finish the advantage first. It is best best added as soon as possible for maximum battery uh, battery side uh, efficiency. Okay, apa yang dikatakan dengan abnormal circumference? So, maksudnya, kalau kadang-kadang kita uh, tapping pokok getah ni, uh, waktu kita pergi keluar, orang tak akan menoreh waktu hujan, betul? Tapi kadang-kadang waktu kita menoreh ni, hujan turun. Okay, uh, it's not heavy rain, okay, uh, just slight rains. Tapi bila hujan turun, hujan ni akan memenuhi your your cups, okay, akan bercampur dengan latex. Apa jadi? Other types of preservative, dia punya efficiency akan berkurangan. But not happen with ammonia. Kenapa? Because ammonia increase the pH up to 9 pH. So which is the ammonia increase very high pH with additional of other uh, rainwater, 
it might reduce the pH but the efficiency still remains ah uh, tu maksud dia so kalau kata uh, abnormal uh, weather you still boleh tapi bukannya masuk hujan lebat nak pergi menoris juga it's not the best practice lah okay and in order to have a good uh, better recite efficiency you need to add as soon as possible ini yang commonly kalau awak tengok orang pergi menoris getah dekat belakang badan dia atau kat pinggang dia diikat dengan satu botol bila dia nak to- lepas dia toris getah tu bila uh, the first drippings of latex in a cup you you add some Ammonia, ha, itu yang awak nampak dia akan tuang sedikit So that's why dia kata Add as soon as possible Okay For maximum efficiency Okay While for the disadvantage The increase in alkalinity of ammonia Preserve latex Is the increased requirement of acid coagulation Kenapa jadi disadvantage pula Okay Because although ammonia Having a good Um uh, properties increase the ammonia up to 9 pH but this is the disadvantage after uh, uh, what we call the the factory receive your latex in order to produce the final product you need to coagulate your your products uh, your latex okay so you require more acid to reduce from pH uh, pH 9 to below pH 6 to promote coagulation so bila ba- awak guna ammonia awak perlukan asid yang banyak dan melibatkan kos yang lebih menggunakan asid for coagulation process itu disadvantage dia lah ok so you need to know uh, although ammonia ni bagus tapi dalam masa yang sama dia akan efek pada cost of manufacturing uh, later on kita tengok apa lagi uh, types of preservative that we have the second one is sodium sulfate Okay, the chemical structure is Na2SO3. Okay, sodium sulfate. Sodium sulfate act with water, produce sodium hydroxide with sulfur dioxide. Okay, sulfur dioxide is an efficient battery site while sodium hydroxide neutralize an acid already developed. Okay, so dia dah capai the first requirement of Uh, short term preservative system okay dia act as battery site and neutralize acids that already develops okay but the problem is sodium sulfide is not like ammonia okay it did not suppress any metal okay sodium sulfide neither chelates or squeeze metal ion contaminations uh, itu beza dia Okay, the usage of sodium sulfate. Okay, kalau tadi ammonia ada dua, gas and uh, aqueous. For sodium sulfate, normal dose that we use is 0.02 to 0.05 percent weight on latex. So you need to know the weights of your latex. Only, only then you add how much that sodium sulfate you need to add in your latex. Sin. Sulfur dioxide is evolves slowly with time. Its effectiveness continually decrease. Okay. In order, you need to produce sulfur dioxide. You need to add water. Okay. Bila awak letak air ni, dia sangat efektif. Okay. The effective of sul- uh, sulfur dioxide tadi kita kata sulfur dioxide uh, act as battery side kan. But During the additions of water, sulfur dioxide, they really sangat banyak. So, sangat efficient. But eventually, it will decrease. Okay, so maksudnya, dia tak kekal lama lah effect dia. Ha, itulah uh, kekurangan dia. Sebabnya kita tengok apa effect dia. Solution must therefore be freshly prepared daily and use as soon as possible. Okay, as compared to ammonia, you boleh store. You boleh simpan dia dalam uh, gas cylinder, you boleh store toy in bottle kalau kata equals kan but you need to seal it properly but sodium sulfate the problem is once you prepare you need to use it as soon as possible okay dan perlu disediakan setiap hari sebab point number 2 ni tadi the effectiveness the effectiveness continually decrease 
Okay. So, kena prepare. So, before you tap your latex, okay, early in the morning, you need to prepare your sodium sulfate. Okay, baru bawa, pergi tap dan tuang sedikit demi sedikit during the pink tapping process. Okay. Advantage and disadvantage of sodium sulfate. The first one, sulfate a mild reducing agent and the sodium salt has a desirable side reaction as antioxidant of tan rubber resulting in lighter color dry rubber. Okay. It is therefore the preferred anticoagulant for earth ADS, soul and pale creep manufacture. Furthermore, since the pH value remained almost unchanged at around 7, the acid requirement for coagulation is minimal. Okay, saya so sum up. What is the advantage? Kalau kita tengok tadi, sodium sulfate ni agak renyah. Kena prepare hari-harian before you tap. And then, dia punya effectiveness reduce uh, apa kalau awak store lama. Yang awak kena guna immediately, kena guna cepat-cepat kan. But the good part of sodium sulfate, dia tak effect, dia, dia mild reducing agent. Dia tak effect kepada color of dry rubber. Okay, eventually, bila awak nak guna, nak, nak produce and product using a rubber or latex, you akan coagulate. Bila you coagulate, color dia remain unchanged or very light in color, jadi putih. Tak sama macam ammonia tadi. Sebab awak gunakan... Uh, very strong uh, agent, okay, uh, ammonia. Uh, so, uh, very strong alkaline tadi. So, api effect dia jadi gelap bila awak, uh, what we call that, kita, kita jadikan final product tadi lah. Okay, so apa jadi, sodium sulfate lebih, uh, lebih digunakan, okay, kalau nak, hasilkan ADS uh, soul and pale creep so kat sini ialah semua produk yang memerlukan warna yang cerah ok some sort of product require additions of colorants ok kalau color awak dah gelap tadi color latex yang uh, coagulants uh, yang awak produce tadi macam ammonia tadi dah gelap awak letak pewarna apa pun dia akan efek kepada warna tu ok dia takkan cerah color tu takkan naik Tapi dengan sodium sulfate, benda tu tak berlaku. Sebab kala yang awak hasilkan, latex tu tetap putih. So, bila awak letak merah, merah tu akan jadi cantik. Letak hijau, hijau tu akan menyelah. Macam tu lah. Okay. Other than that, <coughs> sebabkan pH value remain unchanged. Okay, saya kata tadi, latex yang awak tap around 6. Okay. Bila, once you add sodium sulfate, it increase around 7. Which is the neutral pH. Because at this neutral free pH, awak hanya perlukan sedikit, very minimal amount of acid for coagulation process. Dia tak sama dengan ammonia tadi. Ammonia you up up to 9 pH. Okay. So, awak perlukan acid yang lebih banyak. Ha, itu kelebihan sodium sulfate. Okay. Go to the disadvantage. Solution must freshly prepared daily. Ha, ini yang saya cakap lah. Ini kelemahan dia. Kalau awak tak rajin, memang tak boleh prepare hari-hari, you cannot do this. Ha, kena bangun lebih awal, prepare before uh, you tap your uh, rubber tree. Lepas tu kena guna as soon as possible. You need to use it as soon as possible or the effectiveness continually decrease with time. Ha, itulah kelemahan dia. Okay. Finally, the third one of... Uh, Short term preservative is a formalin. Okay, the chemical structure is HCHO. Okay, the function, the first one is bacteria suppression. Okay, formalin is an exceptionally efficient bactericide. Why? Okay, among all of three, dia paling efficient bactericide. Why? Reduce the development of small but significant concentration of fatty and amino acid by reducing the hydrolysis of proteinous uh, material. The protein become cross-linked and hence more stable. Kalau tadi ammonia, the sodium sulfate, awak hanya uh, bertindak sebagai uh, bactericide. Okay, awak uh, sediakan uh, environment 
yang unfavorable untuk bacteria punya growth. Okay, bacteria side lah. But for famelin, awak suppress bacteria tu sendiri. Macam mana ya? Okay, the protein become crosslink and hence more stable. Awak crosslinkkan protein. As, macam previous chapter, I did mention about the protein promote the growth of bacteria. Using formalin, you crosslink the protein. So, you pre- dia tak ada protein dah. Okay. Bila dia tak ada protein, dia lebih stabil. So, dia takkan ada bacteria grow. Okay. Compared to ammonia dengan sodium sulfate tadi, bila ammonia berkurangan, bila sodium sulfate berkurangan, bacteria will start to grow again. So, from time to time, you need to measure your pH. Kalau kurang, kena tambah lagi awak punya anticoagulant tadi. Okay. Tapi tak berlaku dengan formalin sebab you dah remove as much as possible protein tu. Amino acids dengan uh, fatty acids. Okay. This is the chemical reactions of bacterial separation. The crosslink protein is less prone to bacterial attack, hence more stable yang saya cakap tadi. Okay. Second function of ideal uh, short-term preservation is metal suppression. But formalin neither chelates or squares the metal ion contamination. Sama macam sodium sulfate. So, dalam kes ni, hanya ammonia yang bertindak sebagai bactericide dan uh, metal ion suppression. So, yang apa tadi, sodium sulfate dengan formalin did not suppress any metal ions. Usage of formalin. Formalin, formalin may also be added to lactate after reception, not as anticoagulant, but to prevent fermentation and consequent bubble formation in RSS manufacture. Rib smoke sheets uh, manufacture. Okay. Commercially available solution of 38 to 42 percent of formaldehyde in water during long storage oxidation cause the partial development of formic acid then it may be neutralized by addition of sodium carbonate or we call the soda ash before use uh, so you boleh store you boleh prepare awal boleh store tak sama macam sodium sulfate tadi tapi awak kena tambah soda ash untuk neutralize acid in summary okay there is three types of anti uh, short term uh, preservation okay kita panggil tadi kita ada ammonia sodium sulfate and formalin the first function of bactericide all of them uh, act as a bactericide the good parts of formalin it also crosslink the protein okay for metal ions uh, removal only ammonia uh, remove the metal ion and uh, convert into a precipitate whereas the sodium sulfate and formalin did not do so for pH pH change for ammonia very significant up to 9 pH whereas uh, pH uh, for sodium sulfate uh, doesn't change at all okay uh, might probably uh, increase very uh, slight okay kata daripada 6 ke 7 tadi whereas for formalin did not affect so on uh, pH the problem with sodium sulfates and uh, formalin you need to freshly prepare daily although formalin can be prepared and store you need to use the soda ash to neutralize acid development okay that's all for uh, short term preservation so we move for we move to composite preservative system okay fill attack is normally transported over short distance low level of preservative such as ammonia sodium sulfate and formaldehyde are adequate for the purpose of keeping the latex stable transport of latex over long distance require high level of ammonia to ensure trouble free processing okay kalau katakan uh, transporting um, dekat-dekat tak ada masalah eh dia tak ada effect tapi kalau uh, untuk transport katakan awak tap dekat police 
nak hantar sampai ke Selangor okay, nak hantar ke top glove ni you might consider other types of composite preservative system okay. the use of ammonia for preserving latex however has disadvantage I ni saya cakap ni Walaupun ammonia ni bagus, dia ada disadvantage. The ammonia preserve latex require more acid for coagulation. Okay, lagi banyak juga guna ammonia, lagi bagus untuk preservation tapi banyak guna acid. When used at high level, the ammonia can impart a dark brown color of rubber. Kalau nak produce uh, rubber product, yang kalau dia gelap, tak ada masalah pakai ammonia ni. Awak gunalah banyak mana pun ammonia. Nanti awak akan coagulate using more amounts of acid. Tak ada masalah. Tapi kalau light color, okay, awak tak boleh buat guna ammonia yang sangat banyak sebab dia akan menyebabkan color latex yang awak produce tu gelap. And also, it may uh, extend the drying time. Why? Okay. <coughs> Bila awak neutralize acids, uh, uh, ammonia with acids, they can produce water. Bila water ni banyak, drying time will be increase. Ha, itulah masalah dia. Although ammonia ni bagus, tapi adalah disadvantage dia. So, they come up with composite preservative system. Two practically composite preservative system which are economically competitive with ammonia, but also have certain advantage of ammonia system. So, kita tahu ammonia ni bagus. Tapi dia ada kelemahan juga. So, they come out with composite preservative system. Commonly, two types of composite preservative system. Although, when you go to industry, they might probably use a different type of composite preservative system. But here, in this chapter, I just introduce you with two commonly practical use in industry. The first one is hydroxylamine neutral sulfate ammonia. The second one is boric acid ammonia. So, apa yang awak nampak kat sini, dia masih ammonia base. Tapi, there is some other types of chemical that you added in order to have the good properties of ammonia and at the same time, reduce or eliminate the disadvantage of ammonia itself. So, we go through, okay? HNS or hydroxylamine neutral, neutral sulfate ammonia HNS is a bactericide. It does not preserve fill attack because it's acidity. But ammonia, effective preservative and strong alkali. Okay, the usage usually the combination of 0.15% of HNS with 0.07% of ammonia. For boric acid and ammonia system, boric acid is a mild acid often used as antiseptic insecticide short term preservation not commonly efficient as ammonia for long term preservation does not discolor the rubber even when used at high level okay ammonia as you know effective preservation and strong alkali the usage combination you should be around 0.4 to 0.5 percent weight of boric acid with 0.07 of ammonia Okay, the advantage of these two types of system, okay, for HNS ammonia, they reduce the level of ammonia, ammonia usage by half. Kita tahu, bila kita letak HNS, kita akan reduce separuh amounts of ammonia tadi. Okay, bila, once you reduce the usage of ammonia by half, you require less acid during the coagulation. Ah, kan dia dah counter back the disadvantage of ammonia tadi. And when you use less acid, less byproduct, which is water, you reduce the drying time. Okay. Then the total chemical cost less than conventional ammonia system. Okay. Bila awak kurang guna ammonia, kurang guna acid, total cost of chemical that you use also reduce. So your profit will be increases. Ah, itulah gunanya HNS ammonia system. And we go to the boric acid ammonia. Okay, enable the product uh, enables the production of light colored rubber. It does does not discolor the rubber even when used at high levels. Okay, kalau uh, HNS saja hanya uh, reduce cost, tapi kalau macam boric acid ni dia counter back the disadvantage of ammonia yang discolor. Maksudnya kita tahu bila guna ammonia banyak. Okay. 
Amonia tak akan gelapkan kala getah tadi. Tapi with boric acid bila you guna banyak di sistem, dia tak akan discolor dia. Dia tak akan ku, uh, jadikan kala dia gelap. Okay. Reduce the level of ammonia by half sama juga macam HNS. Require less acid sama juga macam HNS tadi. Bila ammonia kurang, acid pun kurang. Masa drying pun kurang. Less, dry, uh, less time to dry. And total chemical loss less than conventional ammonia system. Okay, itu kelebihan boric acid ammonia. Okay. The application. Okay, HNS ammonia specialty for use in a production of viscosity stabilized rubber. What is viscosity stabilized rubber? Usually we produce the constant viscosity or low viscosity rubber. We call CV is constant viscosity. LV is low viscosity rubber. Ah, uh, dia tak effect kepada um, viscosity. Whereas for boric acid and ammonia, we use for light colored rubber. Such as SMR5L. SMR is standard mention rubber. 5L is 5 is the content. L indicate of light color. Okay. The preservative should be added to the latex in field collection station. The final choice of preservative of any other chemical governed by normal commercial factors. Okay. Ini kena tahulah. Yeah. We come to the ends of the slide. Okay, before that, this is very important. You need to know the condition of an ideal preservative. It requires of chemical to be used as an ideal preservative for field latex preservation. The first one must be bactericide. I keep telling you that bactericide or at least reduce the activity of bacteria. Okay, yani mesti kena ada. Okay, must be able to remove metallic iron presence in latex. Okay, yang ni tak semua preservative system ada. However, ammonia uh, able to remove the metallic ions. Okay, small amount required but effectiveness is very high. So, kita nak guna banyak. Lagi banyak kita guna, uh, kita akan rugi sebab kita you need to prepare uh, huge amount of chemical and huge amount of acids to counterback the alkalinity. Okay, the substance is not toxic to human. Of course, it should not be toxic to human because we handle that chemical. Must easy be used. Tak nak susah-susah nak prepare kat lab. Uh, macam tadi kita tengok kebanyakan hanya campur dengan air sahaja. Okay, easy available. That's why kalau awak tengok kebanyakan uh, orang panggil uh, preservative ni easily available in market so that tapers, penurut getah ni boleh dapatkan dia. Senang. Okay. Has no side effect on rubber and will not affect the quality of rubber. Okay, kebanyakan kita nak cuba dapatkan idea uh, preservative ni kalau boleh kita nak merubah keseluruhan quality of rubber tu. Uh, kalau ubah sedikit tu, we try to counter back. How? Uh, macam tadi, pakai composite preservative system. Will not affect the further processing of rubber. Kita nak bila kita tambah, jadi lebih susah untuk processing of rubber. Okay. Uh, and of course, paling important industry, cost of chemical must be low. Okay. Although there is vast types of uh, preservative system but the common use preservative system is rely strongly on the uh, costings of the chemical itself. Okay. Uh, industry sangat berkait rapat dengan cost melibatkan processing, chemical, etc. Okay. I think that's all for this chapter. Before I leave you and see you by next ch chapter, there is some wise word from me. Success, success is not a final. Failure is not a fatal. It is a courage to continue that counts. I think, please uh, figure it out. Think about it. And I hope to see you by next chapter. By then, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Thank you.